We finally found out where Daenerys' dragons come from. The answer lies deep within the history of Rhaena Targaryen, the daughter of Daemon Targaryen and Lena Valerion. It took 169 years for these eggs, which originally belonged to Rhaenyra Targaryen's dragon Cyrax, to finally hatch for Daenerys Targaryen. But just how did these eggs go from Dragonstone to a Dothraki wedding 169 years later. Hey guys, I'm Shalon, and on today's video, we're gonna be looking at Daenerys Targaryen's dragon eggs and how Rhaena Targaryen, daughter of Daemon, is probably single-handedly responsible for saving Westeros and completing the Song of Ice and Fire because she was the one that ultimately preserved dragon power because in House of the Dragons, we know that's how the Targaryen dragons go extinct in this civil war, but because Rhaenyra Targaryen had the foresight to send Reyna off with her children as well as these dragon eggs, it may have just saved the future of Westeros. In the latest episode of House of the Dragons, Rhaenyra Targaryen tasked Reyna Targaryen, her stepdaughter and cousin, to not only look after her younger children, but a couple of dragons as well as four dragon eggs. Three of those dragon eggs we know end up being Daenerys Targaryen's dragons, Viserion, Rhaegar, and Drogon. But who is Rhaena Targaryen and why did Rhaenyra entrust her with this? Well, Rhaena Targaryen is the daughter of Daemon Targaryen and Lena Valerion. And as of this point in the Dance of the Dragons, Rhaena does not have a dragon. And that in itself is the reason why Rhaenyra tasked her with this. Because at this point, she's of no use to them on the battlefield. But it's not just on the battlefield. The fact that she's a Targaryen in this time period and she hasn't bonded with the dragon also caused a huge strain in her relationship with Daemon Targaryen because we know the type of man Daemon is and his relationship with Bela is a lot stronger because she bonded with her dragon since she was a child. So because Reyna does not have one, she is of no use to them on the battlefield and now she's tasked with watching her younger siblings as well as these dragon eggs. Initially, Reyna does not like this because it leaves her sidelined. However, this is arguably one of the most important things any character in the Dance of the Dragons could have done. And that's mainly because of the prophecy of a Song of Ice and Fire. Because of the prophecy, we know that the White Walkers are coming. And in order to combat them, you need the three heads of the dragon. But at this point, in the Dance of the Dragons, it's literally tearing House of the Dragon apart. Targaryens fighting Targaryens, dragons killing dragons, initially wiping out the only power and force that could actually help stop them against the White Walkers. Regardless of how terrible season eight was, we know the dragons play a crucial role in the Long Night, but in order for the dragons to actually get there, they have to survive. And because of Reyna Targaryen, they do survive. Because at this point, Reyna grew up in Essos and traveling the world with her mom and dad and her older sister. So she's more from that side of the world. She's more familiar. So when Rhaenyra sends her there, she takes the eggs and that's how the eggs leave Dragonstone and make their way across the narrow seas to Essos. Sadly enough, those eggs end up being the last known surviving eggs of House Targaryen. And luckily so, because without them, again, they have no dragons against the Long Night. And because those eggs did not hatch in any time in the 169 years that they lay dormant, when Daenerys' blood magic is essentially activated in the season finale of Game of Thrones, the three eggs hatch. And because these eggs hatched, magic is pretty much returned back in the world of Westeros just in time for the Long Night. So realistically, Rhaenyra, who was entrusted with the prophecy of the Song of Ice and Fire by Viserys Targaryen, she knew that she had the foresight to understand. And Rhaenyra knows she can't leave all her eggs in one basket, metaphorically speaking. So she has Rhaenyra take her younger kids, as well as take two young dragons, as well as four unhatched dragons, knowing that this war is going to tear House Targaryen apart. She does this as a way to preserve her house, to be prepared for the Long Night because even though she's fighting for her throne, at this point in House of the Dragons, Rhaenyra is the only one alive really who knows what she's truly fighting for. It's bigger than the crown. It's about life on the continent. What's interesting is that there's four eggs in that cart, but we know Daenerys only has three. That tells us one thing. One of those eggs are going to hatch in the House of the Dragons. And Rhaena may not be the only Targaryen without a dragon for much longer. She is the blood of Daemon Targaryen. She is the blood of Lena Valerion. And we saw in this last episode 
how Bela is so adept at using her dragon. We also see how Sea Smoke was wailing in the background. House Targaryen and House Valerian do have a strong affinity towards dragons. So because now that Reyna understands her role in the story, knows what she has to do and the responsibility that was placed on her shoulders, I think that's going to trigger the egg to hatch. Because there is a bond between Dragon Rider and Dragon. And until you form that bond, you're not a true Targaryen. And so far throughout the first two seasons of House of the Dragon, Reyna has not been showing herself as a true Targaryen. But now that she has a purpose, and now that she's needed to defend these eggs, look over the future of House Targaryen, that could trigger something in her which would cause her egg to hatch. Similar to how when Daenerys finally gave in and thought she was going to sacrifice her life along with Drogo's, and that's when she formed a bond with her dragons and caused them to hatch. So the Targaryens, once they find their purpose and once they truly stand in what it means to be a Targaryen, that is when their eggs hatch. That is why it took 169 years for those eggs to hatch because they ended up in Essos. All the Targaryens pretty much wiped themselves out in this Dance of the Dragons. And it's by luck of chance, fate, or destiny that Daenerys so happens to have been gifted these in Essos, the last Targaryen given the last dragon eggs. But hey guys, that's just my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, binge on.